it's nearly impossible to develop a typographic system without using a real world project as kind of your playground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a menu since that's definitely something we're gonna need to put together. We know that we have this typeface of choice and a couple of font weights chosen, but let's see how that applies to our menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take kind of this little quick hierarchy we put together and let's bring it into a menu system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a standard 11 by eight and a half. I'm gonna do a horizontal presentation. You may use an A4. I just wanted to do a standard single page format as kind of a rough start size for our menu. It could end up being a totally different size, but we're just exploring typographic elements and size. Also, this is about the size that you would be able to print a menu on site to be able to use as a disposable menu. And during my research phase, I realized a lot of restaurants were using disposable menus. So this could be something that could uh, end up being the final size anyway. So here's a blank canvas and we have a little bit of our typeface here. When we do headlines, are we gonna do lowercase, uppercase? What's the spacing between the characters? What's the spacing between each line? Once we establish what feels really good after we do a very basic menu, we're just doing the typography part of the menu, no graphics, then we'll be able to save character styles and paragraph styles for future use. And we're basically developing our brand guidelines as we are kind of crafting our brand. I have a sample menu you can download in a Word document that gives you kind of the basic menu items. So if you wanted to create your own menu and your own layout, you can using a whole different typeface if you'd like, or apply it to a different restaurant type. But just giving you some basic data that we're gonna work with so we can do this project together. So let's start at the top and work our way down. All of this information needs to somehow end up on the menu. So let's go to our logo system that we developed and we have everything we could possibly need. And we don't know which one to use first. We don't know what, how we're gonna use all these and when to use them. We're still working on that. The more projects we do, the more we could start to establish usage of all of these. But we can get our basic logo for now and tuck it up. Another thing I like to do when I'm doing layout is put on my grid. So I'm gonna go up to view show grid. I'm also going to snap to grid so elements can easily snap as I move them around. So I'm just going to kind of snap that into a nice box there. We have some basic information about the restaurant. So a phone number and a website and a physical address. So we can bring that in with a type tool. And we know we want to do our typeface of choice. And we already kind of developed a body copy that would be 7.57, so here's the thing when it comes to developing a typographic system. It's really nice to have rounded numbers. It just makes life a lot easier. So if I have this 7.57, let's make it easier and round it up to 7.6 or 7.5, just to have nice round numbers. And I know with our logo system, we have a little bit of vertical orientation for one of these logo types. I think that could be something we can explore with brand elements is doing some vertical typography. And that's the great thing about doing projects is you get to figure out what looks best by doing real world stuff. There's no way you can figure all this out in isolation. So let's try that in a totally vertical. Let's put it down at the bottom. I don't want the, this to take away from the logo, so I can put it here, but no, that's the logo is more important. Let's put it on the bottom right, because it's just contact information. We want to have it available to people, but we don't want it to be in the way either. So what about uppercase for this little copy here? Let's try uppercase. I'm just going to put on all caps for that to see how that looks. That looks a little bit more uniform. I like how that looks. So we want to have the word menu. So we can have menu or we can have menu. So I want to talk about the psychology here. I'm going to turn off grids. The psychology of both of these items. We have uppercase, very strong, lowercase, very soft. What matches with our brand and our research that we've done so far? I feel like the top is very masculine, but it's very serious. Too. I feel like a more modern brand would have this lowercase presentation. 
So let's see if we can see how lowercase looks. And a lot of times we're going to have to figure out how that looks with longer phrases. So if I say a headline goes right here, and then I do a headline goes right here. So this is a great way, and we're going to do a social media ad real quick that's going to, after this, that's going to help us determine this too. So a headline goes right here. What is going to work? Is it going to be uppercase or is it going to be lowercase? So putting together a very quick social media ad, I don't quite know all the brand elements that I need to use and the right logo, but just kind of taking what I have so far and putting something super, super simple together, knowing that I want to use a circle, knowing that there's all these different logo presentations I've developed. You can see the differences between the six of these typography presentations and the effect of the tone and the voice of the ad, as well as the emotional impact of the typography. The difference between the all uppercase and the lowercase are quite striking. That uppercase can seem angry as a bold weighted headline, but it appears softer when the font weight is thinner. And the lowercase feels more approachable here while the uppercase seems to work well as a subheading. So all these different ones, they all have kind of a different feeling to them. And it's great to do the same ad, but to tweak each of the heading and the subheading to figure out which one needs to be uppercase and to figure out spacing. Is the spacing okay? Do I need to do something that's not at a right angle? Is this, uh, this lighter weight, is that too soft? Are you not able to see it as a headline? What about trying different font weights for different parts of the headline, like this one where it's fish so fresh you can eat it raw, maybe bringing out certain words, and kind of finding something I think matches really well with this brand is this middle one right here. I think lowercase for both the subheading and the heading seems to be working the best. So knowing that, and all this was, was a simple Instagram post example with a photo I found online during my research, a circle and the typography. That is all it is. I'm not taking this too much more in depth, but I'm able to try out how this typography is working and what's working and what's not working. Knowing this, I can start to go back to my menu and know to maybe try and keep some of the bolder, bigger headlines, lowercase. 